morning. This is uh, Tuesday morning and I'm leaving the hotel. Going uh, upwards uh, in the direction of uh, Aberdeen. A little bit further up north. And uh, I had to say honestly that I did not have any complaints about the hotel. While the reviews were very bad. But I slept well, and uh, so no complaints whatsoever. I'm doing now breakfast. I have some uh, chocolate croissants and a coffee. So and uh, some kind of a smoothie. Okay, the bike is not nicked. That's at least something because. Edinburgh is famous about nicking bikes, I've heard from various people. But it's still there, so that's uh, fine in the first place. Now I'm going to uh, take off the locks first. Because riding with locks is something that won't last very long. This one, and the one at the front. That's two. Garmin also a thing to take care of. Yeah. I took everything from the bike. Although the Garmin does has a lock. Now we need to manage the lock. And for that I had to find out a system. Because I don't want to have it in the luggage. Because it weighs 4 kilograms and the, the luggage is already plenty of it in terms of weight. So I want to have the lock figured out in another way. Tie wraps. Motorbiker without tie wraps has a problem. Now the other one, yeah, the bike is dirty, I know, it's really dirty. And again the tire wrap. That holds. Greasing the chain is the last thing I'm going to do. Now here I do have a flat spot and now this is a doable place where I can grease the chain. So I have a system for that. And this is the cumbersome part. I have to do that bit by bit. Then I have to push it a little bit forward. And that's easier to do with the bike with no luggage, of course. And bit by bit.
various people said to me, St. Andrews is beautiful. So you need to visit that. Well, okay, here I am. I think I want to visit that one. Uh, can I park the bike? St. Andrew's Cathedral. Okay. It is quite nice, to be honest. I'm just going to put it here. It's a little bit pity of all the uh, iron fences that has one has put down everywhere, and that's because the gravestones are very unstable, according to a sign. So I want to prevent them f from falling down, and that's the reason that the whole area is. Uh, cluttered with uh, aluminium fences everywhere around. I can understand uh, the reason, but it's a pity of the view, of course. And I also have noticed the sign, no drones allowed. So I was really thinking about launching the drone, but the sign is clear enough and that Makes that I'm not going to do that. Not too close to the edge because I want to turn around. Let's uh, see if I can uh, make some pictures. Well, St. Andrews is really a cute town. Welcome to the Lynx Club. Lynx. Oh, it's about golf, I think. My God, you sent a beast here. I think it's about golf. West Sands, I cannot do anything here, okay. Now I'm driving a little bit further away. I'm going to put the bike down. I want to see what's happening behind the dunes there. And nothing is happening, but I want to see how it looks like. I also have another idea. I can put the drone up here, I think. This is the Cairngorms National Park. A little bit uh, up north. I'm now uh, driving in the direction of Aberdeen. That's not the final goal. The final goal is uh, the, the Bremer Caravan Park. Where I can put down the tent. According to the website. 
and um, that's also very close by the Balmoral Castle where uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth stayed in for years. What was their uh, holiday residence, if I call correctly. So the route towards uh, the Bremer is uh, leading through the Cairngorms. Now it's a little bit pity of course of the weather, but I'm already used to that. I don't expect to get any sun uh, this holiday. But at least it is dry, it's not raining, and that's uh, something I already are happy with. I have to say honestly that this is the kind of landscape I love. I've seen it in Wales last year, but there it is not as big as here in Scotland. I find it beautiful. I also had an issue half an hour back, sort of three quarters of an hour. I lost almost my telephone, my mobile. I have on my steer an, a, a grip, the ram on grip, you can see it at the right side on my steer. And I have clamped my, my phone in that grip because then I'm also able to uh, connect a uh, cable to it uh, to load the phone up. To load the battery and I do that for a couple of days now and also last year and it uh, always works fine but one of the gripping points on the, the, the mount are gone you, if you can see that the right side three do have a rubber uh, attachment but the fourth one at the right uh, upper corner is gone so I thought well no big deal it works sort of and indeed it worked, but on the highway, suddenly it uh, shoots out of the grip, out of the clamp, and uh, luckily the power connection uh, cable uh, was uh, holding the phone, so I was able to grab it. And even more fortunate, at the left side, and on that moment I had some kind of an uh, parking lot or something that uh, an escape thing that uh, I was able to put the bike down to uh, to fix everything luckily so all of the sudden I see the, the phone come loose it keeps hanging on the, the cable so I could grab it park the bike 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 down and put the phone away in uh, the tank bag so, after all, no issue, but my heart was beating in my chest, heavily. But I have to say honestly that if uh, I don't have a mobile phone in this uh, surroundings, uh, on every, every holiday, well you can uh, think if you lose your phone and you're in the outskirts somewhere with uh, no people around you whatsoever. Then it makes it quite difficult uh, to uh, make connection to uh, whoever you want. Yeah, without your mobile phone in these days uh, you lost contact with the rest of the world. So <laughs> that is not very convenient. Ah, this thing needs to do some work. The Lonely Inn. I to see on the sign it's called the lonely inn well it is quite lonely i can tell you that the lonely inn what a name
so indeed I arrived at the planned camping campsite which I had in mind beautiful campsite with lots of possibilities and uh, so I asked the guy at the reception if there is a, a possibility to pitch down my tent. Yes, of course, man, you know, no problem whatsoever. And then a very nice uh, guy and explained me everything. And then all of a sudden I saw a picture and a sign uh, about pots. And look this. Beautiful pots. So I said to the guy, what is the price of such a pot? 50 pounds, which is about 60 euros. And uh, the place of uh, to put down my tent is the one that has been put here by somebody else. That uh, would be a possibility for me too, is uh, just uh, 20 pounds. And uh, so the pot is way more expensive, but it has a heating inside and uh, normal beds and electricity and Wi-Fi and uh, water cooker. Uh, no kitchen or no toilet. And I need to put down my own sleeping bag. But look at this. I do have a microwave so I can make up a pick. I think I do a pizza. I can fetch a pizza in the shop. And I have uh, some uh, a fridge, sort of, but I don't need that one. And uh, there is a heater inside and lots of electricity and Wi-Fi, so I don't need to pitch down my tent. I don't need to crawl in and out on my knees. Luxury. I have no problems with the tent to be honest, but this is way more easy of course. It's really a nice house. It's also quite new I think.